Have you ever wondered how some of the most popular games like World of Warcraft and Angry Birds handle their complex logic so smoothly? Well, the secret ingredient? Lua! Today we are kicking off our journey with Lua, one of the fastest and most lightweight scripting languages in the world. And the best part? It is easy to learn and can be used for games, web apps, automation and even AI. And by the end of this episode, you'll have set up Lua, a coding environment on your PC and return your first Lua program. So first of all, what is Lua and why should you even care about it? Lua, meaning moon in Portuguese, is a lightweight scripting language that was created in 1993 in Brazil and has since become a go-to language for developers who need speed, flexibility and simplicity. Think of it as a Swiss army knife of coding, small, powerful and insanely useful. So why should you learn Lua? It is super simple, meaning that it has no complex syntax, no unnecessary rules, just straight up coding. It is blazing fast and it works everywhere, PCs, mobiles and even tiny embedded devices and it also plays well with others. Lua easily integrates with bigger programming languages, making it a secret weapon for developers. Well, now that we know how awesome Lua is, let's get started with coding. And before we start coding, let's get everything ready. In order to install Lua on Windows, we have a simple measure that you can take. Here we have a GitHub link which provides us an executable file for downloading Lua on our system. And we'll provide this link to you guys in the description. Meanwhile, let's install this file on our PC. It should start installing after you click on this. And we'll wait for the installation to be done. Here our file has finished downloading. Let's open up this folder and let's execute this file right now. So I accept the agreement. Then next. Choose our destination. I'll keep it as default and next. Next. And then next. I don't want to create a desktop shortcut so I'll just click on next and install. So once the installation finishes, to check if the installation has worked or not, you can click on finish, then open up your command prompt by typing cmd on start and then just type out lua and hit enter. Now if the installation was successful, it should show you the version of lua that you have installed. Otherwise, it will tell you that Lua is not an executable batch file. So, in our case, we have Lua successfully installed. And now that we have Lua installed, we can open up VS Code, add on some extensions, and then we are all set for running our first Lua program. So, I have already created a folder to test out some code. I have um, some extensions that I want you guys to add on to your VS Code so that it is easier. So, the first extension that we have here is Lua which is by Sumniku and we have already added this onto our VS Code and another extension that will prove helpful to us is the Code Runner which helps us to run code of different languages which includes Lua pretty easily. So after installing these extensions we can head over to our file to write our first ever Lua program. In this case we are starting with our print function which outputs our given message onto the standard output which is typically the console. Now. It depends on the use of the print function, but it can be used to print out our message onto our console or even our screen. So it depends on where the print function is being used. In this case, we will output this code onto our output section. So after typing out print and opening a set of parentheses and then writing our message or our string inside the parentheses, we are all set for outputting our code. Now, if you have Lua installed on your computer and you have added the extensions that I've mentioned, you should be able to click this button right here and see the output to your code. So after clicking this button, we can see that it's output to hello world. And there you have it, you have written your first ever Lua program. Now let's have a look at a real life example. Imagine you are building a simple app that sends messages to its users. The first message the app sends could be hello user or hello the name of the user welcome to Lua and using the same print function you can display messages in your app let's say you wanted to greet someone personally 
you could store the user's name in a variable like this we could create a variable uh, with the use of the local keyword as local username equals let's say John now if you want to use this username variable inside our print function we have to use concatenation and concatenation in Lua is achieved by the dot dot operator and I'll show you this right now so suppose we have to write hello the user's name so dot dot concatenation and then the variable name so username and then dot dot once again welcome to Lua and then we can see this code right here and then execute it so hello John welcome to Lua now this doesn't have any spaces because I have not provided spaces here um, if we add spaces and execute it and save it and execute it will be greeted with hello John welcome to Lua so here we use the dot dot that is the concatenation operator in order to concatenate or join together the string hello with a username variable and welcome to Lua which creates a personalized greeting so this is how you use variables to concatenate strings in Lua and now it's your turn you can open up your text editor or VS code and try modifying the code you can change hello world to any other message that you like for example you can use variables or string variables to type out your introduction hello and you could type out hello my name is and then space and then our concatenation operator and then our variable name so username save the code and then execute it so hello my name is John so each of you guys can try out your own code or your own use of the username variable or any other variable that you define in your own way and you can see how the print function works and the different creative methods that you can utilize variables since we'll be discussing about variables more in the next episode let me tell you some useful stuff related to the print function so let me remove this uh, variable right here and just demonstrate how we can use our print function if you want to print something in the new line you can use an escape character which is the backslash so backslash and and everything after this is printed on to the new line so hello my name is Lua let's suppose now if we save this and execute this code hello my name is should be printed out in the first line and then this character should act as an escape character and print whatever there is after the escape character onto a new line so let's save our code right here and then execute it so hello my name is Lua if we were to remove this space uh, after our new line character that is backslash n save it and then to execute it it would create hello my name is Lua without any space so this is how you print out stuff onto the new line you use the escape character which is backslash and then n and this is not the only use of the escape character I'll give you an example suppose I wanted to print out John said I know all of Lua and the I know all of Lua should be in quotes now if we have noticed our strings start and end with double quotes or single quotes so what if you wanted to use the quotations inside the string itself let me try it out real quick to show you how what it results in so John said quotations I know all of Lua we can clearly see that I know all of Lua is being typed outside of the string so in order to use these quotation marks inside of the string we can make the use of the escape character which is backslash now the use of the backslash will make it so that this quotation mark is typed out inside the string itself so if I want to type out another quotation mark I will use the backslash and then quotes again now if we save this and print it out we'll be able to observe that John said quotations are being typed out as well so that was a small demonstration of the use of the escape character that is our backslash it can be used to print stuff onto the new line or it can be used to type out quotes inside a string and that was it for today's video uh, a quick recap for you guys we discussed how Lua is a lightweight fast and flexible scripting language used in many industries including gaming 
we wrote our first Lua program to print hello world on the screen using the print function and we explored about how we can use the concatenation operator to concatenate variables onto our string and also at the end we just explored how we can use the escape character in different ways. What's next? Now that you have written your first Lua code, you are ready for more. In the next episode, we'll dive into variables and data types and how to use them in our programs. But before you go, make sure you drop a like if you found the video helpful and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want a certificate for completing this course, you can earn a certificate and show off your Lua skills by signing up at codein.com. So it's codein.com. And there are multiple courses, including Lua, for which you can get a certificate. So make sure you check out codein.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.